What's up YouTube, it's your old school expert and today I'm going to show you my mighty PSA 10 collection. Uh, this is a culmination of many years of collecting and I'm finally finished with what I'm happy with being my uh, entire collection. I really don't need or want to add anything else to it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've got and uh, hopefully this video doesn't take too long. So, all right, so we got a, uh, we'll start with LOB, kind of like stacked it right here. So we got Trihorn, first dead. Um, this is all the first dead hollows for LOB. Um, this was pulled by myself. And then we got a Blue Eyes White Dragon, first dead. This was not pulled by myself. I actually purchased this and then graded it and got a 10. And then we got a Dark Magician. And these are in uh, pretty much in numerical order and we're gonna go by set. So then we got Guy the Fierce Knight. There we stack those there. Then we got a Red Eyes. My favorite card of all time. And we got a Monster Reborn. And this is the second print of Monster Reborn of the first edition. As you can see, the, um, the name is well centered and the foil is very uh, flat uh, and very shiny. And then this is a first print Monster Reborn. Uh, so the name is much lower. And the foil, as you can see, is wavy instead of being flat. And um, with the monsters, the first prints are a lot darker. So we got two Monster Reborns, first Ed. And um, everything in this video besides, I think like two cards, are PSA 10s. And then we got the Exodia set. So there's the right leg and the left leg. And then the right arm and the left arm. And then we got two Exodia heads. So this is the one I'm keeping. And then this one is for sale. If anybody's interested, um, hit me up on Instagram. This is also for, they're both first print. And we got a Gaia the Dragon Champion. And that is it for the Ultras and Secrets. Then we got the Supers. So we got Flame Swordsman. We got a Celtic Guardian. Dark Hole, a Raigeki, Trap Hole, Polymerization, Mystical Elf, pulled that way too many times, a Curse of Dragon, Swords of Revealing Light, another card I've pulled uh, way too many times, and a Maneater Bug. So that is the super rares from Legend of Blue Eyes. And that rounds out the entire list of holographic cards from Legend of Blue Eyes, all in PSA 10 condition and all first ed. Most of them are for the first print of the first edition. Next we've got my second favorite set ever, Metal Raiders. So you can see some of the scratches on the case there. There's Gate Guardian. Then we got Summon Skull, beautiful card. Pulled that one myself. Beast Skull Dragon, I actually bought this for $5 back when this was a much cheaper card and I uh, graded it and got a 10. Bought two of them for $10 actually. and uh, one, They both got nines and I sent them back and they got tens. So there's a Change of Heart, a Time Wizard, Barrel Dragon, and then now we're getting into the totally awesome traps from Metal Raiders. So we've got Psalm Judgment, the ultimate negator, also known as Jesus or Moses or whatever you want to call him. God. <laughs> um, Magic Jammer. Seven Tools of the Bandit. Horn of Heaven. Mirror Force. Almost all of this I graded myself. I think for Metal Raiders, I only bought one or two PSA 10s. Thousand Dragon. This was one of the ones I bought. So I think I bought two because I think I bought this and I bought uh, Magic Jammer. And that's it for the Ultras and Secrets. So then we got the Supers, Harpy uh, Lady Sisters, Sangha of the Thunder, Kazi Jin, Sui Jin. Tribute to the Doomed, Karibo, everybody's favorite little monster, Catapult Turtle, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, 
Garnesia Elephantis, Heavy Storm, such an epic card, and then another Heavy Storm. So I've got one of these for sale if anyone's interested. Again, hit me up on Instagram. And that'll do it for Metal Raiders. Then we got Magic Ruler. And this is the last set where I completed all the hollows because I really, my goal was just to get all the hollows first edition uh, PSA 10 from the first three sets. So we've got, of course, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, Acts of Despair, Spellbinding Circle, one of my favorite traps, Relinquished, Snatch Steel, Delinquent Duo, very cool card, Mystical Space Typhoon, The Forceful Sentry, Toon Mermaid, Toon Summon Skull, very nostalgic card, Megamorph, and Serpent Knight Dragon. So that's the Ultras and Secrets in PSA 10. Here are the Supers. We've got Black Pendant, Mahavelo, Invader of the Throne, Confiscation, Giant Trunade, Painful Choice. Very good card. I always loved using this. Black Illusion Ritual. Got to use that for Relinquished. Toon World, extremely nostalgic for me. I love this card. It's got such good artwork and it's just such a cool card. And man, when this came out, this was the nuts. Everybody wanted this. So Toon World, definitely got to have one of those. Banisher of the Light and Messenger of Peace to round out the first dead PSA 10s of Magic Ruler. So next we got to go, of course, to Pharaoh Servant. You guys know I'm the old school expert, so I don't just stop at Magic Ruler, but I did stop completing this set at Magic Ruler, so I've just got a few Pharaoh Servants. So we got a Jinzo, of course, gotta have a Jinzo. Such a nostalgic card. Chain Destruction. Premature Burial. Buster Blader, very nostalgic as well. The Legendary Fisherman. Thousand Eyes Restrict. Pure Order. And that's going to do it for the Ultras and Secrets. Um, I made sure for the first 11 sets I do at least have both Secrets. Uh, Grave Robber is a super. So this is um, extra. It's for sale, I guess, if anyone's interested. This too, Mirror Wall. And then this Nolmen of Crossout. So that's it for Pharaoh Servant. Let's move into Labyrinth of Nightmare. That is one of my favorite sets. But again, I didn't go ahead and try to get all of them. I just got um, some of the ones that I really enjoy. So, um, of course, there's Gemini Elf, right there. The Masked Beast, beautiful card. Mask of Restrict, Torrential Tribute, Mage Power, very nostalgic, use that a lot. Dark Necrofear, The Last Warrior from Another Planet, Royal Command, Destiny board. Um, I will eventually work on getting the others. I have like five each pack fresh of all the uh, I, N, A, and L spirit messages. So eventually I will grade those, but no hurry on those. And then a magic cylinder. And that's it for Labyrinth of Nightmare. That's actually my third favorite set. So next we got Legacy of Darkness. This is a quick one. Legacy of Darkness is pretty hard to grade because they're always off-centered. So we got Yadagarasu. This is one with the crazy bleed on it. My lighting's not too good, you can't see it all that well, but in the sunshine, this thing is nuts. It just bleeds all over their secret rare foiling all over this card, so it's a really cool one to look at. Freed the Matchless General. Fiber Jar, probably my favorite card from Legacy of Darkness after Injection Fairy Lily. Air Knight. And then, of course, Injection Fairy Lily. Moving on to Pharaonic Guardian. We got Lava Golem. Starting to run out of room here. Let's do this. Lava Golem. We got Hell Palmer, my favorite card from uh, uh, Pharaonic Guardian. Sorry, forgot the set for a second. Uh, then we got Nightmare Wheel, one of my other favorite cards from Pharaonic Guardian. A uh, Ring of Destruction, and then a Don Salug. So, another really cool one from Pharaonic Guardian. I would love a 
Fioshu Ricci, I forgot what that's called, Fioshu Ricci. Um, just the artwork is so cool on that guy. So anyways, Magician's Force is up next. And we got a Dark Magician Girl, of course. Luster Dragon, pretty cool. Card was really expensive when it came out because Gemini Elf was the only other four star vanilla monster with 1900 attack. Breaker the Magical Warrior. This card has a very low population. I want to say it's like three or four. Um, it's really hard to find in gem mint condition, so this is really cool. I really, really, really like Breaker. It's a lot of fun. Um, Dark Paladin. This is the error artwork, of course, as you guys probably know by now. The, this was the original artwork they put in it, but they didn't mean for this artwork to be released. So what they did was if you pulled that version, you could send it into Upper Deck and get this version. This is the version that was supposed to be in Magician's Force. So now the first editions of this are very rare. They're hard to find, they're promos. And um, here's a PSA 10. And then Diffusion Wave Motion to finish off Magician's Force. Next we got Dark Crisis, really quick set, because it's honestly not one of my favorites. So we got Vampire Lord, Exodia Necros, and Judgment of Anubis, so the two secrets, and then uh, Exodia Necros. Those are really the only Dark Crisis cards I, I wanted, uh, so that's what I pursued. Next we got Invasion of Chaos, so of course we got uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon, gotta have that guy. First Ed PSA 10. Just uh, like I said, everything that can be First Ed in this video is First Ed. Uh, so we got a Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, or Envoy of the Beginning. Dark Magician of Chaos, so it's just chaotic up in here. Uh, Dimension Fusion, that was a really good card until it was banned. And then to finish it off, Invader of Darkness, the probably least used secret rare ever. All right, so that's it for Invasion of Chaos. And then very quickly, sorry, had to reach for it. All right, I'm back. We got uh, Ancient Sanctuary, so End of Anubis. Another End of Anubis, so it's for sale, if anyone's interested. Blowback Dragon, one of my favorite cards. And honestly, I know I say that a lot because there are just so many incredible cards, but this is probably my favorite from Ancient Sanctuary. It's a very cool card. We got Burst Stream of Destruction. Dark Magic Attack, because you know I had to get the, the two signature attacks. Mazera Deville, it's the secret, and then a Amplifier, because it's really cool to uh, sit that next to Jinzo. So I love the artwork on that. So those are the main sets that I collect. You guys know that already. So those are my PSA 10s from that. So let's do some offset stuff. Here we've got some tournament pack hollows. So we got Mechanical Chaser, the tournament pack one ultra rare. PSA 10. Got a Morphing Jar, the TP2 uh, ultra rare, PSA 10. And then Needle Worm, the TP3 uh, ultra rare. PSA 10, these are extremely rare. There's only three of them right now. If you don't believe me, you can look up the populations on PSA's website. They do have a pop report, and you can see the populations of any card that they've ever graded. There are, as of filming this, there are three of these, and I've seen one that's wildly off-center. So um, really, there's only two that should be 10s, because that one was just, it was just like a miscut, and somehow it got a 10. So Royal Decree, this is one of the few cards that's not a 10. This is actually a nine. I don't have a 10. I think the population on these is like two. It's, it's stupid rare. Um, and I'm, I, I didn't really care for that much to get a 10. I really mostly wanted the monsters. So we got Luminous Soldier, that's a 10. Cannon Soldier, Tomb Cannon Soldier, excuse me. That is a 10. DD Warrior Lady, sorry, DD Warrior, no lady. Kind of looks like a lady. Don't tell him I said that. And then we got some supers. So we got Quagar Hercules, TP1. We got a Toon Table of Contents from TP6. And then also TP6, a Restructor Revolution. So those are my PSA cards from TP. And then the last batch of hollows is a pretty cool one. It's just a bunch of promos. So I'll kind of like, I'm out of room. So <laughs> I'm doing what I can. We got a of course, SDK First Dead Blue Eyes White Dragon. Lovely card. 
SDY, first edition, Dark Magician. This guy needs a new case, it's kind of busted. And then we got the DDS promos, of course. So there's Blue Eyes, Dark Magician. Really good looking Dark Magician there. And Exodia, pretty cool. Then we got Red Eyes, Black Metal Dragon. And Harpy's Pet Dragon. I don't have the Metal Morph. I got two that were nines, so I kind of just quit because <laughs> uh, it's not important to me. Got a Graceful Dice. Would love to get a uh, Skull Dice to match this guy, but again, not, not too big a deal. Really cool card though, very nostalgic. Slifer the Sky Dragon from uh, the GBI promos this is the Prismatic Rare. PSA calls them Silver Rares. We got Obelisk the Tormentor. And the Wing Dragon of Ra. Then just some random stuff. We got a uh, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. Why not, right? Weevil Underwood, gotta represent. Then we got the uh, Goblin Attack Force Error card. It's not labeled as an error. PSA is working on um, getting some more labels for Yu-Gi-Oh errors and whatever, whatever. So this is a more popular error, so it should have a label, but it doesn't. Um, the Earth symbol is actually a star. It's a level star. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a pretty common error for Goblin Attack Force. They're all unlimited, and this one's a PSA 10. Pretty cool little error to have. And then this one uh, is also well known. It's the Guy the Dragon Champion Unlimited LOB, uh, where the gold, it's got the gold ultra rare lettering, but it's a secret rare with the secret foil. So um, these again are pretty common for being such a big misprint. And uh, again, I think PSA one day will relabel these correctly, but uh, for now it's not labeled as such. It's just a Guy the Dragon Champion from LOB. Then we got Super Random, this is the other card that's not a PSA 10. It is an Ancient Sacred Wyvern. This is my wife's favorite card, and we actually pulled this card out of a tin after I had traded away the first one I had, the Ultimate Rare, first at Ancient Sacred Wyvern. Um, she got mad at me because I traded it, and it was her favorite card, and I felt kind of bad. Not even a month later, we went to Walmart, I picked up a tin, and I pulled this. So it was kind of meant to be. It's off-centered, it's, it's got a little whitening on the edges. Uh, cause it's an ultimate rare, so I just graded it just cause. And then the last uh, holo, I believe, is a Dark Magician from the Yugi's Legendary uh, decks, I think. Yeah, Legendary decks. And this is the Arcana Dark Magician, or the red one, or whatever you want to call it. It's just a cool looking card, so I definitely wanted to grade it. Uh, it's easy to grade, it's probably got a hundred of them that are PSA 10s, maybe more. But still a cool card. And um, I have like some random Pokemon cards here. We got a Ditto, first ed uh, Fossil, PSA 10. I paid very little for it, so um, I figured I'd pick it up. I think it was like 75 bucks, and it's worth maybe 120 or so nowadays. And then we got a Mega Charizard EX. I pulled this off camera, um, unfortunately, on Christmas uh, from a blister pack. So that was really fun and um, totally tripped me out. I never pulled anything sweet like this, so I figured I'd grade it, got a 10. And we will very quickly go over the LOB rares. I have all of them here. So there's a Flame Ghost, PSA 10, all first edition, Aqua Madur, uh, Arm Ninja, Flower Wolf, Charubin the Fire Knight, uh, Two Pronged Attack, Fissure. Darkfire Dragon, one of the coolest rares in LOB. Dragon Capture Jar. Metal Dragon, another one of those cool rares. Goblin Seeker Remedy. Carbonola Warrior. Reaper of the Cards, a very nostalgic card for those anime watchers. Hain Hain. Pot of Greed, of course, staple. Giant Soldier of Stone, about to attack the moon. My favorite rare in the whole set, Fusionist. Literally, that is my favorite rare. That's not a joke. Um, Grave Digger Ghoul. Dragonist the Wicked Knight. Spirit of the Harp. 
stop defense, and finally, Final Flame. So those are the LOB rares, that's all of them. And then, I'm sorry, I'm trying to go quickly. I know it's been like 20 minutes now, but uh, here's some LOB commons that are pretty cool. So we got a Tripwire Beast. Um, this is all of the short prints, by the way, uh, and super short prints. So we got Violet Crystal, that's a short print. Legendary Sword, these are expensive now. Good luck finding a first edition near mint condition legendary sword. Um, I don't know why, they're just super hard to find. Dragon Treasure, pretty cool card. Book of Secret Arts, this might be my favorite of the short prints. Raise Body Heat, I believe this is one of the super short prints. Mystical Moon, Dark Energy. Silver Bow and Arrow, pretty cool. Electro Whip. Power of Kaishin. I think that's how you say it. Kaishin. Kaishin. Machine Conversion Factory. Beast Fangs. Vile Germs. Follow Wind. Laser Cannon Armor. That has such a cool name. Another Weevil card. Sandstone, this is just a random common. So these commons I sent to a friend for free, I think. I sent him uh, like two of each and he graded them just to try to get 110. He ended up getting double tens. So he sent the, the extras back to me, which was very nice of him. So we got a Sandstone, Monster Egg, Forest, love this card. I wanna get eventually all the, uh, all the field magic cards out of LOB graded, but again, not a priority. Got a mountain. I've got plenty of each, so no rush. Wasteland and a Yami. All right, we're almost done, guys. We got like six cards left. So next we got just a few Metal Raiders cards. I haven't graded many yet. I had a bunch ready for grading, but I just haven't done it yet. So we got a Magician of Faith rare. A Great Moth. Witch of the Black Forest and Sangan, because those are my favorite rares from Metal Raiders. And then to finish this entire video off, we've got some random commons from Metal Raiders. We got Illusionist, Faceless Mage, Baby Dragon, and then Slot Machine from Magic Ruler. So that is it, guys. That is my entire PSA collection. It is all my tens plus like one nine and an eight. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed it. This took a long time to complete. I graded most of it myself, but I did have to buy and trade and, and work some deals to get some of this stuff. So um, anyways, I hope it was nostalgic for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And definitely stay tuned for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.